Hey guys, Chong here, bringing you another Diablo 3 Demon Hunter build guide. This time we'll be focusing on the Cluster Arrow build with the Embodiment of the Marauder set. And let's get into the skill set first. This will be pretty much the same as the Multi-Shot build, minus two separate abilities. The only difference here is the Cluster Arrow with the Cluster Bombs. Reason why you want Cluster Bombs is that the Sentries will also shoot Cluster Bombs when you shoot them. And as for the other skill, you want to use Sentry with the Polar Station. The passive will be different, minus awareness. You, now you'll need Lumming Traps, Custom Engineering, and Grenadier. For your Paragon, it's pretty much the same as the Multi-Shot build. You're going to want to focus on Max Hatred, Movement Speed, followed by Dexterity. For Offense, you're going to want Critical Hit Damage, Critical Hit Chance, and Cooldown Reduction. Then Attack Speed at the last if you need it. For Defense, you're going to want Resist All, Life, Armor, followed by Life Regeneration. For utility, you're going to want resource cost reduction, area damage, followed by life per hit, then gold find. So let's get into the gear. This will be the embodiment of the Marauder. For your gems, you're going to want all blue gems, which is going to reduce cooldown of your skills by 12.5% in your helmet, and then give you max resistance for all the other pieces. And for your weapon, as usual, you want the green gems, so you can have your crit hit damage increased by 130%. For your legendary gems, you're going to want a stoic alteration, which is going to give you additional non-physical damage and reduction. So when you're below 50% life, you're going to have increased reduction in elements by 75%. For your second legendary gem, you're going to want Fan of the Trapped. And what that does is increases your damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects by X amount of percent based on your level. And once you're at level 25, you'll get an aura that reduces the amount of movement speed of enemies within 15 yards by 30%. And for your third legendary gem, you want Zay's Stone of Vengeance, which will deal increased damage based on how far your enemies are from you. And once you're at level 25, you'll get a 20% chance to stun on enemy for one second. Now for your stat priorities, for your shoulders, you want Dex, Vitality, Cooldown Reduction, and Reduce All Resource Cost. For your helmet, you want Dexterity, Vitality, and Crit Hit Chance. On this one, I have 10% life because I had to reroll another stat. For your chest piece, you want Dex, Vitality, and Armor. For your pants, you want Dex, Vitality, and Armor as well. For your boots, you want Dex, Vitality, Resist All, and Armor. For your gloves, you want Dex, Vitality, Crit Hit Chance, and Crit Hit Damage. For your Hellfire Amulet, you want Increased Fire Damage, Crit Hit Chance, and Crit Hit Damage. The Bracers, you want Wraps of Clarity. And the stat priorities on that, you want Fire Percent, Dexterity, Vitality, and Crit Hit Chance. Unfortunately, I did not get the Vitality that I needed. You really want Dex, Crit Hit Chance, and Crit Hit Damage. And if need be, you can re-roll one of your crit hit chances into a cooldown reduction. And for your weapon, you want Mana Core. And what's so good about Mana Core is that it increases the clustered arrow damage up to 80%, as well as reducing the hatred cost of your cluster arrow by up to 50%. On your, and for your quiver, you want the Bombardier's Rucksack. And what that does is it increases your sentry damage, as well as having two extra sentries on the battlefield at once. Now your main objective of the build is to have vengeance up all the time. So you want your cooldown reduction to be over 36%. And what you're going to want to do with the sentry is to spam it. So any enemies within this bubble is going to have their damage dealt reduced by 25%. Now for your Kanai's Cube, you want Dawn, so you can have your Vengeance up all the time. For your Armor, you want Zoe's Secret. So if you have all three of your companions, you're going to have 27% less damage. And for your Accessory, you want Convention of Elements, so that when it gets to fire, you can spam your Cluster Bombs even more. So now we'll do a Greater Rift 60 to show you how exactly we play this build. So you really want to alternate between your Evasive Fire and your Cluster Bomb to ensure that your Focus and Restraint are always on point. And always make sure you have your sentry up with the polar station where the big groups of enemies are so that they deal less damage to you. And from here you just make sure your vengeance is always up as well as keeping your distance from a lot of the enemies. So I'll leave you to it and enjoy the rest of the run with some music.
So the boss strategy coming right up is relatively simple. Um, you really only have to start putting your polar stations around on each side of him so that all the cluster bombs scatter uh, on top of him. Uh, and usually a lot of bosses don't move around a lot so this should help you take care of the bosses relatively quick. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if there's any other builds that you wanted me to try and uh, I'll try to put out a guide for it. Thanks a lot. Also, don't forget to check out my multi-shot build as well. Thanks. Bell